Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video I'm going to show you how I rebuilt my Streamlight flashlight. Uh, this lovely flashlight, I love it, I've had it since uh, 2012. 2011, huh? <laughs> I don't know, it was like one of my first major purchases off the tool truck, so this flashlight has a, a, lot, a lot of meaning to me. But lately it has been giving me some issues, and that is that um, the button will not keep the light on. There we go. Sometimes, okay. <sighs> Sometimes, okay, it'll stay on, and then it won't turn off. Okay, but you, <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, this button does not work the way that it's supposed to, and uh, it, it's really annoying. I was working in the Supra just now, trying to get the steering rack out, and I was working in the fender wells, and they were really, really freaking dark in there. I don't have good lighting in here, and uh, this guy was um, was bothering me. So, instead of just like getting frustrated at the Supra, which is not your fault, Supra, I decided it was time to finally rebuild this thing. So, here is the lovely before and uh, now I'm gonna show you the process. So I'm just gonna start by taking this apart. Behind me you see all the pieces of the kit that I got and uh, in front of me I have the instructions. So uh, we're gonna start by taking the top off and setting that guy aside. Oh my gosh, you can see? <laughs> Look how cloudy this one is. Oh my gosh, all right, so that aside. And then next I'm gonna take the bottom, unscrew it and remove the battery. <laughs> this is my name on it because there was a time where I broke the charger and I had to share my coworker's charger and I just wanted to make sure that this lovely battery from 2012, um, <laughs> that was mine. Everyone had to know. <laughs> All right. Inside the body, you can see this little retainer clip and it has two dots on it and those are going to be perfect for my snap ring pliers. I'm just going to put my snap ring pliers in the two holes and lefty loosey it. Wow, it was really loose. Oh. So there's the old one, setting it aside, and here we have the new one that came in the kit. And they look about the same, but I'm gonna hold on to the old one, since it's still good, it's still usable, but I'm probably gonna use the new one. We've got this little plastic piece, and a new one came in the kit. And here's our little one teeny tiny little LED light. Oh my gosh, like you'd expect it to be a lot more than just that one little guy, but nope, it's just that. That one little guy. Next I've got my little Phillips screwdriver and I'm gonna be removing these two screws. These are actually where the flashlight will sit on the charge port. Oh my God, there's so much crud in there. <laughs> I've never, this is the first time I've ever taken these apart. But they also hold in the internals to the body. And believe it or not, the kit also comes with two new screws. Next I'm gonna use my battery kind of like a tool and reinsert it in the bottom and use that to push the guts out. There we have the guts. Okay, and here's my package of new guts. And it tells me to be careful, so don't worry, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> and this will complete my little lineup of old versus new. All right, so next I'm gonna take my new boot and place the boot inside. And um, you can see that there's an obvious up and down. And there's also like a little, a little foot, or like a little ledge here where hopefully it's going to seat itself into position onto the guts, the body. So case him right in there. And then of course, turning this button side down and sliding it in gently. You'll be able to tell if it's set in there properly by looking at the little holes for these little charge port screws and just making sure that everything lines up. Note that you will feel a little resistance here with the screws, so just be patient and put a lot of firm pressure down because the screws are actually gonna be cutting into those new wires, which are gonna charge, obviously, the battery. You can see how those wires will come through. So just be gentle and patient as you screw in the new screws. Now that we have those screws installed and all flush, the next thing is gonna be this little centering ring. Now on the back of the centering ring you see a big alignment post and then two smaller alignment posts. So this big alignment post is going to be going into one of these larger holes down here and we want to use the one that is opposite of where the red and black wires, the power wires, come into the LED light. These other little two teeny alignment dowels will go into these two little centering holes that are on either side of the LED light here. 
Okay, there we go, and that's in place. Next, we've got the new retainer plate. There's an obvious up and down because we're gonna have the holes for my snap ring pliers facing up, and the center is going to align with the centering plate for the LED. So I'm gonna be very careful about this as I install it and just make sure that that plate does indeed align gently with that centering ring or the LED light. And then of course, last but not least, we have the cherry on top, this amazing new, oh, crystal clear housing and projector. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks like a brand new freaking flashlight. Okay, there's my battery in and oh my goodness. Okay, okay, well not only does the button work perfectly every single time, wow, but look how much brighter it is now that I have a clear lens to see through instead of this super freaking foggy lens. So, ah, I think this was a total freaking win. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then awesome. Leave me a positive comment or give me a thumbs up or maybe even, you know, consider subscribing if you want to, uh, to see more videos from me. All right, well, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.